and welcome to Last Wallis channel again and the new episode of uh, my Raspberry Pi adventures. And Paul is streaming now some Finnish fishing game that is called, I believe, yeah, Ice Lakes. Uh, not that I care about fishing, but uh, he uh, does streaming on Twitch uh, with uh, like modern or modern ish games. So I've had some troubles uh, with uh, Raspberry Pi 3, maybe not with the uh, board itself, but with the uh, uh, distributions of Linux crashing after a bit of time, and uh, that was uh, happening uh, in a way that uh, it uh, maybe, well, I, I at least I think that uh, it uh, was corrupting file system for some reason, maybe on shutdown, probably on shutdown, so if you uh, turn it off and then turn it on, then you will uh, get uh, a dead system after like maybe not the first but at least uh, a few reloads even if you uh, execute all the proper commands like shutdown or whatever you can find on the internet uh, and uh, yeah maybe the reason was uh, in the memory card but uh, I'm not sure about that because uh, the memory card uh, that I've got with uh, this uh, package uh, with a, a kit uh, that I bought from eBay from SB components is perfectly fine uh, at least working in my phone in my Xperia L of course it's not executing any code from there but still but anyway I've bought uh, this card little pretty cheap card uh, that's Belarus and Rebels for you uh, and uh, it's not terribly fast, it's just class 6, but yeah, it's just like a provincial town, so uh, I didn't felt like uh, walking around uh, half of the town just to get a faster card. So uh, I'm not against waiting a bit more, so yeah, I will try that one, because this is uh, like brand new for sure, and uh, maybe some luck will happen this time because yeah I can uh, flash uh, it to a card and then uh, set it up properly like do all network settings install proper browser and uh, then make an image of the card so if it crashes I can just reflash uh, the image with operation system that is already set up that's my point that's kind of Annoying still, but not that annoying. And for my uh, reasons of uh, uploading videos to YouTube, that's kind of enough. If I was keeping some server, like Minecraft server, that was <laughs> that would be annoying as hell. But yeah, my reasons and uh, my uses are pretty limited, so I will give it a try. Probably uh, today is. Uh, uh, 4th of uh, June, so yeah, it's pretty late as you can see here. So we we'll try that uh, on Sunday, and that's why you won't have a new retro gaming video probably. Because uh, testing that stuff will take a lot of time, and I should record a uh, uh, Russian uh, playthrough of uh, minimalist Minecraft map and uh, the other thing that I'm doing with. Uh, uh, no internalized, but yeah, uh, this is it for now, and uh, see you in a bit. So, I just finished uh, downloading uh, this Noob system, the latest version of Raspberry Pi software. As you can see, uh, here I have uh, the torrent of it, which, which I will unpack and then flash it with uh, uh, this card reader USB tiny thing that supports. Micro SD and Sony proprietary standard, which I don't really need because uh, I don't have cards or devices that can work with it. And here I have uh, this little card, which I will use for uh, this distribution, hopefully in a more <laughs> successful way than it was before. So here's my PC with my email that I use with the YouTube notification 
uh, chapter, but that's not important. What is important is that it has wide background. I can show you uh, this micro USB cable. That's the only thing that is left to attach, to connect to this Raspberry Pi. As you can see, HDMI and a couple of uh, USB cables to mouse and keyboard. I use wired ones, so I don't have to charge them. And uh, yeah, I will, I will attach it right now. Just put it sideways here and switch with monitor menu. Yeah, you maybe can see the light that's coming out. And I will see if I did everything correct. Uh, so this button and switch and yeah, right. Uh, switch to here. And uh, this is 1.9.2, I believe, two uh, Raspbian. So uh, that is all right. Yeah, just installed that. And uh, I believe uh, simply hit install, maybe not UK English, US English. That is more useful to me at least. And we'll see about adding Russian for YouTube captions. Okay, okay. So, only have to wait until it extracts file system and uh, then I'll have to do Wi-Fi setup because I'm not connecting it uh, on the wired network. Even though I have like my Wi-Fi router uh, right uh, like maybe one feet away uh, from Raspberry Pi, but uh, yeah, now I will have just to wait and uh, see you a bit later. Uh, so yeah, just a few megabytes to extract and uh, this part of uh, setting it up uh, is already done, I guess. Uh, the last, the final megabytes to go and uh, operation system is installed successfully. For recovery mode, hold shift. I don't really need recovery mode, <laughs> at least not now. And uh, maybe it will reboot itself, so I don't have to replug. Yeah, I don't have to replug the power adapter uh, for that reason. And so far so good, but uh, it's like uh, always good when you are loading it for the first time. Well, if you installed it correctly. So let's see what we will have and uh, then I'll set up a uh, network. And it will be interesting to see if uh, Raspbian now have uh, now, now has any decent browser, because last time it was some crap that doesn't even display like JavaScript or HTML5 correctly, so for uploading videos to YouTube you have <laughs> to have them both. And yeah, simple AlexDE. This time we have uh, Bluetooth right here, not that I have Bluetooth uh, devices and uh, the link that is down. Of course it is down because I have to set it up and I will uh, resume messing around when I have the network set up. Uh, yeah, I believe that's just epiphany. <laughs> it's old, but not good at all. So I guess I at least have to have uh, have to install Firefox maybe. So that's good or bad old epiphany for you. And I just uh, want to check if uh, the network is working correctly, uh, are my settings uh, yeah, correct or not, so I will just go to my own website. That uses some JavaScript for uh, showing you that uh, Twitter uh, widget. Of course, Epiphany doesn't support JavaScript, or at least uh, doesn't support it correctly, so we don't have that. That also means that we can't really uh, have YouTube uh, not even uploading but uh, watching because for HTML5 uh, it should use JavaScript, I believe, and uh, also have uh, uh, support of codecs. 
Uh, so I will uh, look into getting a proper browser. Well, at least network is working. So here I have uh, IceWizzle, Firefox version installed, and let's try to launch it. I guess we'll see if it is installed correctly and uh, how will it work on this version. Uh, so uh, let's go to my site uh, once again lastofovari.com and uh, see if we have uh, Twitter. Yeah, we totally have. There's my latest video. Uh, third part of Russian Never Winter Nights, the first game playthrough. And uh, let's maybe go to YouTube. My channel too. I haven't logged on uh, yet, so you know. So we'll have to do just uh, maybe a videos page and close uh, this tab. Yeah, it's not working too quickly, especially while loading pages, because it is not the most uh, powerful computer in the world. You have like uh, four cores, yes, four cores, but just, I believe, like one gigahertz or something like that, so not too quick, and while CPU is 64-bit, uh, uh, I believe uh, OS is, ju is just 32-bit, uh, so it uh, is not utilizing the full power properly, but uh, as you can see, it utilizes that, and maybe uh, we'll try to watch one of videos, like, for example, one of the snapshot reviews I've made lately. And since Minecraft is going to 1.10 already. And let's adjust volume, because I'm not sure uh, what is the decent amount of sound. Oh yeah. Nice. I don't need autoplay, no thanks. It's not too quick, because it's software rendering. And my internet not uh, that quick too. But it plays stuff, and that means that uh, YouTube is working, so that's all I needed, basically. And uh, now we will see if uh, it will uh, shut down correctly. So we have options here. Shut down, shut down, reboot logout, or we also uh, can use console with uh, that kind of command. sudo uh, shut down, I believe, minus h now. And uh, yeah, we will see how we'll reboot. And yeah, uh, this is how it works. It still has both LEDs, as you can see, here on. So I think uh, the second LED should go out because it shows uh, indication of activity with uh, uh, SD card, micro SD card. So I will wait a few seconds, I guess. And we will reconnect the power. And now we will see if it's actually successful. Because I'm not sure about that. A lot of all case, but uh, yeah, that's not all. A few seconds more have to remember that it's just a class 6, so 6 megabyte per second while writing stuff, and much more while loading, of course. And cursor, and uh, we will see our network is uh, connected, and uh, our dearest browser, which is actually useful, and not that epiphany that uh, makes air quotes, internet more stable, yeah. <laughs> in a way that it uh, moves it uh, to pre-web era, I guess. Um, yeah, we'll see my website again. 
if it works. And uh, so far so good, I actually quite surprised that it works. And I will make probably another video like a week after this one. Uh, so yeah, I will kind of check it uh, on uh, a few days. Uh, but uh, maybe that was really like incompatible SD card because uh, that was a uh, Kingston micro SD, 16 gigabytes, maybe it doesn't like huge volumes or just card itself was improperly stored. But uh, yeah, so far so good. Thanks for watching and uh, see you later. If you want to say something about my Raspberry Pi adventures, that's Raspberry Pi 3 Model B, uh, you can uh, say that, uh, state that in the comment section down below. If you like the video, you can push the like button and uh, yeah, do the usual stuff. Share, subscribe if you really want it. Uh, thanks for watching and see you later.